Howdy folks, Andrew here at Chatfuel. Today I have with me my good friend, Deb. <laughs> this is Deb. She is hilarious. I wanted to get her on the show, not that this is a show, because she's hilarious. Uh, that's called Circular Logic. Anyway, uh, today we are going to be having Deb build a chatbot. Um, so this is going to be an experience. I wanted in this video to show people just how easy it is to build one of these things and kind of educate you all in the process. So without further ado, we're going to dive in. Deb, I'll give you the keyboard and the mouse and uh, you can figure it out. Oh, baby, here and, we go. No, I'm just kidding. What we have here is the what's called the chat fuel dashboard. This is like your control panel. So as if you were like a pilot flying a plane, this is where... Um, all the magic happens, I guess. Um, that can be taken out of context. Anyway, <laughs> first, before we do any of this, like we need to come up with like a business for you. Um, Let's make a sock shop. I love it. <laughs> like funky socks. I love it. On this welcome message, then you can like greet the user. So uh, type in, you know, whatever greeting you wanna give to the user and maybe tell them like a sentence about your uh, your sock shop. Where do I even start? Where do I go? <laughs> that That's the test here. This ain't my rodeo. I'm gonna turn this too so we're both in it. Um, <laughs> so- I didn't even realize it. Like... Maybe this defeats the purpose of the video that it's easy. So first, like just on a normal like text message or email, just like highlight the text and change it as you wish. Autobots roll out. Autobots. Roll out. Uh, ooh. <laughs> we <laughs> might need to make this into a time this. lapse. Howdy. If you want, you can go real wild and you see where there's Emoji. that smiley face? Yes. Wait, where's the little cowboy? Uh, you can search for it or you can type it in there right too. Here. There you go. Amazing. So we got the sock shop on lock. Oh, there's like a siren too. Um, that's fun. We could add an ambulance emoji. Uh, we'll take a momentary pause while that siren goes by. First, what we could do here is like add a product catalog of all the socks. To do that, let's click where it says add button there under the text. Here, we're gonna create the button name. So you could call it like shop for socks. Hello? So you reach God the character- God dang it. <laughs> for you <laughs> Do uh, do shoppy for sake. <laughs> You're like coding over I here. Know. You can think of this just like pages of a website. So you have the home page here, and then you're gonna connect that to um, like the product page. <clears throat> I can't spell for the life. We need like a hooked on phonics over here. Here you can add like all of your products. So if you click that um, gallery mm -hmm. one right there, this will, this is like a kind of like a product catalog where you can like scroll through different stuff. So mm -hmm. we won't add images again, but if you click like that plus button and then click it again when the new one appears, gator socks, love it. Amazing. I don't know what sock brands there are out there, but if they had a Facebook page, they could like attach this chatbot so that when people are going to the Facebook page, instead of like having to ask a question and manually wait for like a human to respond, because mm -hmm. humans are working nine to five, like Dolly Parton's song. Folks like me on the job from nine to five, yeah. Instead of having to wait for like somebody at the company to respond, this chatbot can like show them products and recommend stuff instead. So that's kind of like the goal of what we're doing here. It just automates uh, a little bit of that process. And then we can link this to like the checkout page basically on the website. Choose URL. URL. And then we could just put in like a random URL, like, I don't know, socks.com mm -hmm. slash gator. Perfect. Uh, Delete that other one, with the trash icon. Garbage. If you had this link to your store, uh, I'm sure you've seen like before, if you're on Amazon or something and shopping for something and then you don't buy it, you see like ads saying like, hey, buy this, you left it in your cart, whatever. Um, this would actually help you with that to like automatically send messages to people. We could add a frequently asked questions part of the bot. So go back to the welcome message uh, where you added, added like it before. This? Nope, the uh, add button. Okay. So you could think of this like kind of like a main menu for your bot. 
product. Um, and you can only have up to three options. It's not like the Cheesecake Factory where you can have like 20 pages of options. Add a block. Great block. For this, we're gonna use something called Quick Replies, which are uh, just like a different kind of button, basically. Click where there's that arrow and drag it above the Quick Replies. The quick Replies, you can think of them as like uh, a multiple choice question where you're like, giving users options for what they can choose. So okay. you can add just like topics of questions. So maybe for the first one, like, sizing. yeah. Create a new block and call it like sizing. And you can go there or a shortcut is if you just double click that, it'll take you right there. You could ask the question of like, how does, Should you know, do sizing text? work? Yep. Uh, yeah, you could do text or if you had like an image of the sizing chart, you could do that. Okay. The setup AI with this, you can like send people different responses based on what they actually type in rather than just like clicking a button. Maybe somebody has a question of like, what color socks do you have? So mm -hmm. in here type in like uh, colors, for example, and you can add different variations here. So you could do like designs and then if you hit return, um, you can add another like similar keywords. So you could do colors. Over here is where you would um, provide that response. Type in, I don't know, like whatever color socks you have. Animal designs. Do I like- Animal's my favorite color. So Shut yeah, you- up. <laughs> I swear to God. So this is just like the a single message that you would send the user. So you could type in like, we got animal socks. We got okay. the whole zoo in here. We have everything. Oh baby. <laughs> From Gators to, to zebras. No, gators. <laughs> gators to goblins. <laughs> I'm a ghost! So then if we wanted to uh, test this, uh, I guess I'm taking over. Yeah, now <laughs> that wasn't a sentence. <laughs> um, Brother. Click test your bot. Test your bot. Yep. And you'll see that you've made a chat bot. OMG. There you go. Yeah. Click through. Oh, <laughs> you like double tapped. Shop socks. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not gonna take you anywhere. <laughs> Excuse me. Air. Hello, darkness, my old friend. So then let's test your keywords too. Animals. And so if like somebody has a question about that, it gives them that OMG. response. I think this is actually cool that I'll show you. These two things here, save user phone and save user email. Okay. So in your sock shop, like obviously you have these people on Facebook, but say that you also want their phone numbers and add them to a list. So that instead of just having these people on Facebook Messenger and like sending the messages there, you could also do it through text. And so okay. it's kind of a way to like optimize your, uh, your marketing that you're doing here. So instead of like a typical web form where you have to like enter in your email and all that manually, this will like suggest it for the user. So they just click it and then it, um, we as like the sock shop have that and can okay. do with it what we wish. We have to save the email to what's called an attribute here, okay. which is just like a way to store that information and use it later. You could just call it like email or you could give it any crazy name. It really doesn't matter. I'm just email. Howdy partner. Submit your email for 20% off your first order. Yeah. We'll do a little sm oh. <laughs> a little sm oh my it's like a cyclops. <laughs> yeah. Just to finish that up, add another text card. So they'll only get this after they submit their email. Just this. Yep. Just add the buttons that we did before. There we go. You see, again, you don't have to type in an email. It's just already there. Should I click it? Do it. You've got mail. And then, uh, then you can interact with the bot. And obviously this is just like one example of how this stuff works, but- uh, Love it. Again, instead of having like humans respond to stuff, you just have the bot do it and right. uh, likely will increase your sales and uh, all that good stuff. So you can be chilling on the beach while your chatbot does the work. So that's basically how to build like a super, super, ch Super, super simple chatbot. That's a tongue twister, folks. Hopefully you learned how to build a chatbot. I feel very enlightened. I did it. 20 minutes later, I'm a we, business owner. we got it. We'll see you next video. Happy botting. Mm -hmm.